In today's video, we're going to show you how to shoot jewelry and give you a couple tips on how to take better photos. So my girlfriend owns a boutique here in Denver, Colorado, and recently launched a new line of jewelry, and we need to get a few photos for the website. We want to get a combination of flat lay and lifestyle photos that will show the jewelry actually being worn. This jewelry line is inspired by spirituality and divine feminine empowerment. We want the product photos to reflect these values and aesthetic, which brings us to our first tip for shooting jewelry, define the vibe. There's an infinite number of jewelry styles out there, ranging from high-end, extravagant diamond rings that cost thousands of dollars to cheap and fun fashion jewelry that you can find at the dollar store. It's important to consider what you're shooting and who it's for. What kind of vibe do you want to create in your product photos? For our brand, we want it to feel earthy and elegant with a twist of magical energy. Above all, the products need to highlight the quality of the products and not distract from them. It's important to think about how the scale of the props influence the perception of the products that you're shooting. Since this is a very small and delicate pennant, we want to use props that are roughly the same size. We're going to experiment with some pieces of neutral colored broken pottery and see if we can get some interesting textures and shadows that can provide contrast to the shiny and matte colored jewelry. We also grab some tiny air plants to bring some color into the mix. I'm always surprised by how many jewelry brands I see online that don't have pictures of their jewelry being worn. This is probably the most important tip of all because you need to give your customers a good idea of what the jewelry actually looks like when it's being worn, what kind of outfits you might be able to pair with it, what it looks like on different skin tones, and just the general size of the jewelry in a real life context. 